Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining me here today on our Training Thursday show. We're going to take a little bit of a sidestep like we sometimes do on our Thursday shows, where we are going over an actual podcast listener question that came in from over one of our Cabral house calls on the weekend. So each and every weekend, I do hope that you're tuning in, that you're listening to what our community is asking for in terms of answers to their wellness, their weight loss, their anti-aging, their mindset, whatever it may be in terms of their overall mind-body health, the questions that they have that they're looking for answers to. And I do my very best to share with them some of the insight from working in clinical practice now for many, many years, from Um, overseeing, uh, myself included, a team that has worked with over 250,000 plus client appointments and just what we've learned over that time. And I want to be able to share that with people so that they don't have to learn this all themselves from scratch, that they can simply take information, blueprints, protocols that we've been using for many years quite successfully and start to implement that in their own life. Well, every once in a while when a question comes in over the weekend, I say to that person, listen, this is a great topic for a longer podcast and I haven't yet done one on that in today, I believe it's episode 1623. So today's show notes page is stephencabral.com forward slash 1623. But in over four years, I have not done specifically a podcast on, are we doomed to get sick as we age? And I think that's a question for many people. And it's not just a question when you're 70 years old, 80 years old, are you doomed to get sick? You know, it's not about that. We, we know that there's people who get sick now in, as a teenager. I mean, we have a whole thing we had to create, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which means basically childhood rheumatoid arthritis that should never happen. We also have juvenile, you know, diabetes, not just type 1, but we're talking about type 2 diabetics as, as teenagers. And I've shared that research as well about one out of five children are on their way to juvenile type 2 diabetes. And it's mainly because of lifestyle-based behaviors. Not their fault, right? Where we live in a world that promotes certain things. Sometimes our parents don't know the information to share with us. We're not blaming it on specific people. That's not what it's about. It's about empowering people rather than placing blame. Blame doesn't do anything. Blame puts up walls. Blame keeps people from wanting to help other people. It keeps people from even wanting to share information. What we need is empowerment. We need to allow people to first get the education and then have the tools in order to change their life. So when this person wrote in, and very, very seriously, you know, am I doomed to get sick as I age? Because they see what's in the news. They see that this pandemic right now is, again, contrary to popular belief, and I really hope that you've tuned into my previous shows on the virus, because they have been spot on since the beginning. Not in terms of, oh, look at me, look at these specific things. It's No, it's just like, we've seen this before. This is not a good thing. We know what this looks like, though. And that's what I want to share with people is that it does not affect children the same way. It affects people with an imbalanced immune system. It affects people that have higher amounts of inflammation. And as I'll be sharing in just another week or two, the data is really showing that it affects people that have more of the the diseases of aging, which is metabolic syndrome, which is basically blood sugar dysregulation, heart-based disease, blood pressure-based issues. All of these things can lead to cancer and Alzheimer's as well. We know that we just named our top four causes of mortality. And then when you add a virus on top of this that exacerbates the immune system, basically the immune system response, right? It's the immune system response that causes the inflammation. It doesn't mean shut down the immune system. It doesn't mean the immune system's done anything wrong. What it means is that it's imbalanced. It's already was imbalanced. And then you added something to that rain barrel and the rain barrel is now overflowed and you have this massive inflammatory based response. And then we, it leads to things such as lung-based issues, etc. That's just one instance, but there are many. You're, right? You're just more prone to disease as you get older, but it doesn't have to be that way. 
It does not have to be that way because we know that a healthy body can't be sick. And if we know that, then we have to understand, well, why do we then get less healthy as we get older? Well, there is a just gradual breaking down catabolism of the body. Now, we can slow that. We can age gracefully. But what we need to do is look at our present actions for the day. I want to share with you just a few quotes that I love. And this one, actually, again, you know, I'm spiritual, but I wouldn't say that I I go back to a specific religion, even though I was raised quite religious. But when I look at these these biblical-based terms, right, they hold true. Like, these things are just holding true. And so I was just looking at the exact quote that I wanted to share with you today. The exact quote was this, show me your friends and I'll show you your future, right? Because I wanted to use that today. And I'll give you my quote in just a moment. But that actually goes back to I think the book of Proverbs, right? And it says, this is the quote, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Let's just repeat that. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Now, again, you don't have to be religious to understand that if you hang around with smart people making smart actions, you most likely will make a lot of those same actions. You hang around with fools who make foolish actions or take foolish actions, you'll get caught up in that and your life won't be looking very good either. So what I say to you is this, show me the food a person's eating today. Show me the exercise a person's doing today. Show me the de-stress protocols a person is doing today and I'll show you their future health. And you can go about that for mindset. You can go about that for career. You can go about that for anything. I want to stay focused on health today. Because if you show me your actions, not when you slip up every once in a while, trust me. Everybody slips up every once in a while. I slip up every once in a while. And I even do it on purpose, right? Because I also want to enjoy some of the subtleties of life. I want to be able to enjoy a dessert maybe once a week. I want to be able to enjoy some of my favorite foods that may not be healthy foods. But how often do I do it? Well, maybe once a week, maybe twice. That's what I'm looking at. But I got myself healthy, and then I get to enjoy enjoy those things. So I'm not saying focus on the times that you slip up, but I'm saying what does your life look like on a day-in and day-out basis? Because I can show you, and again, I'm not a mind reader. I'm not a, a seer of the future. But people can pretty much predictably come up with their future if they look at their present actions today. And again, that goes with their relationships. If you're not spending time, quality time, if you're not making the quality time, if you're not in the mindset of showing love, if you're not in the mindset of being kind, listening, probably the relationships are not going to go so well in your life, right? Like these are things that we know, but we might not always follow through with. So again, my foray and forte is more in the health world. So I want to stick to that today. But I'll tell you this, there's no guarantees in life. There's no guarantees. I always say cancer is that wild card. I think we can predictably work with cardiovascular issues, type 2 diabetes, blood pressure and stroke, and Alzheimer's. I really believe that, okay? So now we've wiped out all of the major causes of death. You know, that's the 75% for sure. Cancer is the wild card because we don't always know what we're exposed to. We don't necessarily know what's in the environment all the time. And we don't know what's kind of bubbling up below the surface. Okay. There will be in the future better precursor testing for cancer. There's some right now. I've gone over them on my Friday Review podcast, but it is the wild card. But I'll tell you this I've done many podcasts as to the diet, the nutrition, the immune based protocols, the sleep the de-stress protocol that at least give you the best chance not to get cancer. And I would say if you're following those, an unbelievably great chance and not falling into any of the major dis-ease categories. But even if you do, it doesn't mean there isn't hope because there is. We can find out what those underlying root cause imbalances are. We can remove those toxicities and we can begin to replenish your deficiencies. And we can do that almost with relative ease. That takes about three to four months. So four months of work can essentially reshape your future. So if you don't want to be doomed to illness when you're older, well, for sure, if you're not doing well now, you need to fix that. 
And of course, that's probably pretty obvious. You say, well, tell me something I don't know. But here's the truth, is that maybe you have a mystery-based illness, right? So you don't necessarily know what that is. Well, at the cornerstone or the underlying level of every mystery-based illness is an answer, even though it's a mystery right now. It's a mystery right now simply because the proper labs haven't been run. An omega-6 to omega-3 level that's off. Higher levels of histamines. We might have, we just talked about it this week on Tuesday, under or over methylating, which has to do with nutritional deficiencies as well. It could be gut-based dysfunction. But for sure, there's an underlying root cause. You can run the big five labs. The big five labs will tell you pretty much everything that you need to know in terms of your deficiencies and your toxicities. There are great first five to run. Are there more to run? Sure, you could, but that's a great first place. If you can only run two labs, run the starter kit. That's absolutely, again, my go-to for whoever I'm working with or, or overseeing health coaches in my practice. You can find those at equilibriumnutrition.com, but you can also run them locally with your qualified naturopathic doctor or functional medicine doctor or integrative health practitioner. So the, tr- the truth is that you have options. But the reason I'm mentioning that is that things don't get better on their own and you don't get better as you age with these diseases. Like it's not going away, okay? I do believe people can get better with age. I really believe that. I feel... Again, I don't think that I should serve as the role model for anyone or anything, and I don't think that that's like my position or place to be. But I'll tell you this, that I feel better today than I did last year. I felt better last year than I did the year before, and way better than I did 10 years ago, and I feel better today than I did 20 years ago. So if I felt better today than I, when I was supposedly in the prime of my life, I do believe people can get better with age, especially if you're, you're dealing with right now currently some type of dis-ease of the body. And a, dis, a disease of the body simply means there's a dis-ease in it, meaning there's some type of uneasiness due to an underlying root cause imbalance that most likely has to do with a toxicity in your body. Name it, right? Heavy metals, histamines, higher levels of estrogen, plastics, like you name it, any environmental-based toxins, or deficiency. And the deficiencies could be zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D, magnesium, DHEA. I mean, that could, all those could be deficiencies, right? So we can bring those up. So I know that seemed, that's oversimplified. Yes, I, it's oversimplified, of course, and I, I see that part to it. But do realize that by searching for those, by seeking them out, by finding those answers for you, you can personalize the approach for yourself. And then you can say, okay, well, based on now what my labs say or based on what I now know based on my symptoms, I could begin to heal. Like you might not run gut-based labs, but maybe you do something like the CBO protocol. That would be okay. So it's like, it's whatever's best for each individual. So the reason why I'm really kind of digging in on this is that if there's something wrong now, whether you're 20 years old, 30 years old, 50 years old, or 70 years old, you have to fix it. So you have to fix that because it's not going to get better. And if you're on a medication, be careful because that medication is masking something. That's your body. Your body was telling you something. Listen, something's off. I showed you it's high blood pressure. I showed you it's dry skin. I showed you it's headaches. Those are the symptoms. Something's causing those. If you medicate them, beware. Because what you're doing is you're suppressing the symptoms, which are signals and signs from your body that something's off, that there is an imbalance. Now, I'm not saying go off your medication. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is while you're on your medication, still seek for what those imbalances are. Because the medication will block the symptom, but it will not stop the underlying root cause. That's why inflammation is just a symptom. It's not an underlying root cause. So you could take natural anti-inflammatories. And again, I'm not going to go through them all right now, but there are a lot. Or you could take pharmaceutical anti-inflammatories. In both cases, though, they're masking a symptom. Now, I don't mind that if you're doing it with the mindset that you're also working on the underlying root cause, which again, are the poor nutrition or poor diet for you, the gut issues, the inflammation triggered in some way. And I've done many podcasts on that. I would love you to go back and check those out at stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. So the first part is this, fix the imbalances mentally, emotionally, physically. And I know you can do that, and they don't have to happen overnight. You can make tremendous progress, though, in just 12 weeks to 16 weeks' time. Tremendous progress, mentally, emotionally, physically. After that, your body is now balanced. You are well. But here's the thing. It doesn't mean the work is done. The work is actually never done. That's the funny thing about relationships, spirituality, your body, meaning like your weight, your body transformation, your fitness, your overall health, 
your career, relationships, all these different things, right? It's never static. If you take time off, well, they take time off from you. And what does that mean? Well, you start to then slide down the hill. The further you fall down the hill, the harder it is to get back up because then you got to put back in the work. You have to then put, you know, overcome the challenges, the obstacles again. So much better to maintain. Does that mean you have to be perfect all the time? No. I found that once you're well, once you're balanced, nine out of 10 times, nine out of 10 choices. That's the truth. Nine out of 10 times, do it right. It's an A. It's still an A, right? Eight out of 10, okay, it's not bad. It's a B though. A B, not bad. Not great, but not bad. When we start to fall below that, that's when we start to see issues, especially when it's multiple days in a row. So first step first, if you don't want to be doomed to aging and being sick, and when I say aging, I mean the the pains and the decrepitness and the poor sleep and the low energy and the low mood and low libido and no endurance and all of those things, the weakness, you don't want that, right? You don't want that. So here's what we need to do. First, rebalance. Then after that, maintain. And maintenance takes a little bit of work. Not a lot of work, though. You don't actually have to do more. You actually just have to make slightly different decisions in life. That's it. Because we only have 24 hours and we all have the same amount of time, right? We really do. We put it sometimes more into work, more into career, more into our kids, more into our passions, whatever it might be. But we have the time. It's just we have to just sneak a little bit more towards our health or just shift. Meaning like we all need to eat, right? If we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, well, what do we do? Well, we need to choose different foods, right? For lunch, for breakfast, for dinner. That's the big thing. And oftentimes I I snuck the word lunch in there. And the reason is that sometimes lunch can become a cheat meal. It can become a disaster because you're at work, you're short on time, the day got away from you, right? And next thing you know, you're grabbing a sandwich. Well, now you're eating processed meat, right? Cured meat, processed meat. We know that's not going to look good in terms of your overall health and and potential cancer-based issues. But now you're eating it with gluten. So now you're eating it with bread, which is inflammatory. Not good, right? So here's what we need to do. We need to make those proper choices. And I'm going to just take you through, like super simple, right? Not over the top. I give more in-depth knowledge inside of my book, The Rain Barrel Effect. Of course, I would love you to check out the book. 100% of all profits go to charity. And it is the formula of emptying the rain barrel because the barrel has to be emptied on a daily basis. If not, then you lead to excess. You lead to the excesses and the excesses of life are what? The excesses of life are cancer, tumor growth. They are high blood pressure, right? Too much solute in the uh, the actual vessels and in the arteries. And then we have uh, type 2 diabetes, too much glucose, too much blood sugar. And then we have heart disease, too much inflammation in the arteries, too much richness, right, potentially in the diet. So we need to look at those specific things. So emptying your rain barrel, it goes back in the opposite direction. So diet, daily basis, crowd out, crowd out, crowd out. What does that mean? Seven to nine servings of fruits and veggies every day. Okay? If you want to go less fruit, that's fine. That just means more vegetables. How many? About three cups per meal. Can't do three cups per meal right now? How about two cups? Put it in a blender. Put it with your smoothie. There's two. Do two cups at lunch. And then how about three at dinner? Or add a little bit more at lunch. Now you're at seven. You can do that. Crowd it out. Those fruits and veggies are going to do wonders for your body as you age. Those are the phytonutrients that we can't replicate in a lab. You know I'm a huge advocate of nutritional supplements. You know because of soil degradation, people's weak digestive systems, that it's just so much easier to absorb a little bit of nutritional supplements. However, those nutritional supplements never replace what we can't replicate from nature. And that is predominantly fruits and vegetables, brightly colored. You can't make them, right? Our daily fruit and vegetable blend powder, I love it. I use it. I'm a huge advocate of it. But here's the thing. Those are still juiced fruits and veggies. I still recommend along with that, even though it's all organic fruits, veggies, superfoods, juiced, you just get the actual dried powder from it, Uh, not even all the, the sugars that go along with it, but still get your fruits and veggies in there. Get your natural fruits and veggies with all those great enzymes and great fiber in there. Okay, next up, exercise. Again, it's going to be, and I teach this in the Integrative Health Practitioner Certification and also course, it's going to be based on you. But make sure you move your body every day, whether it's walking all the way up to interval training. You need to move your body every day. And if you want a place to start, work up to 10,000 steps per day. Toxins, every 12 weeks, do a functional medicine detox. Whether you want to or not, empty your rain barrel. Every day you're being exposed to cancer-causing chemicals. That's the bottom line. 
And if you don't believe it, you can simply run a test. You can run an environmental toxicity test, and it's a simple urine test, and you can see. I'm like, it's that easy, I tell people. Honestly, it's a binary result. Do you have it or do you not? And it shows you. Okay, so every 12 weeks, seven-day functional medicine detox. If you've never done one before, do a 21-day. All right, daily, though, 12 to 16 hours of an intermittent fast. The more hours before midnight, the better. Three to four hours before bed, stop eating. These Again, these are just general. These are general recommendations, but they are absolutely, in my opinion, as we call it, lifesavers. Now rest, seven to nine hours per night. How many hours do you need? Check out my podcast on how many hours of sleep do you need per night, but it's between seven and nine. It's based on the individual. It's based on the body type. It's based on the output. Next up, we have emotional balance. So important that you work on the emotional base side of this. You can be doing everything right, but because of anxiety, because of super high levels of stress, and I skipped over my stress, so I'm going to add stress reduction to this as well, that if you're not working on stress reduction, that if you're not talking with a, a therapist, that if you're not working with a counselor, someone that specializes in these things, it might be something that you want to do. If that is the factor for you that's really wearing you down, remember, that's causing entropy. That's the word I was looking for earlier. You need to work on that part of it. Emotional balance is so overlooked. Work on nervousness, work on anxiety, work on reducing stress. You can do this. It's not going to happen overnight, but you can do it without a doubt. Next up is supplement protocols. If you're looking for a place to start, the daily foundational protocol, level two or level three, is the place to go. Add on top of it the immunity protocol. You get your balanced zinc, you get your vitamin D, you get your vitamin C. Can't recommend it enough. It's a daily activated multi or the daily nutritional support powder. It's the daily fruit and vegetable blend. Uh, it's the omega 3s. It's a daily probiotic support. Like, that's it. I mean, that's what pretty much every human could use. It's up to you. You can get them at your favorite place that you want, but that's what I'm recommending for long term use. Next up is success mindset. It's the understanding that tomorrow can be and will be even better than today. That's the truth. So are we doomed to sickness as we age? No. Tomorrow's going to be even better than today. If you have that mindset, you become unstoppable. It goes back to my favorite quote. I mean, that, like, that's the thing. Emilie Cuyé, which is who, one of my favorite therapists that I've ever read about, and I quoted him, I've quoted him many times now, but in the Rain Barrel Effect, and I said, this is what he told people. Power of suggestion, placebo or not. Remember, Dr. Joe Spenza wrote a great book with all the scientific research saying, you are the placebo. We want the placebo. I try to make myself turn into the placebo every day. Every day in every way, you're getting better and better. You say to yourself, this, first person, every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Tomorrow is going to be even greater than today. Tomorrow will be even greater than today. Because what are you subconsciously saying? You're saying today was great. Even if it wasn't, today was great. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Well, what are you saying? Well, anything that could get better is getting better. It's a great mantra to have in life. You have to understand is that you truly can achieve anything that you want, that you want in life, that you, not somebody else for you, but you, anything that you want in life, as long as you're willing to work for it. And I'm telling you, the work doesn't necessarily take more work because all the stress that's created with doing all the things that you shouldn't do takes a whole lot more time in the long run. So do the right things now. You don't have to be perfect. Work it on a daily basis. Get a plan, work the plan. And I'm telling you right now, The future is going to be even greater than today. Hopefully today's podcast was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Of course, if I can ever be helpful, just let me know. Feel free to share the podcast with anyone you believe it can serve. And if you're looking for more details on anything that I went through today, please check out stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. Those are all of my previous 1,622 podcasts, all completely free. The Rain Barrel Effect, you can just find that on Amazon or equilibriumnutrition.com, which is also where all the labs are and protocols. Or you can check out the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute. Hopefully all of those are great starting points for you. Remember, it's all about having that growth mindset. When you have a growth mindset, every day is a good day. You're moving forward to an even brighter future. Thanks so much. Take care. Stay healthy. Be well. Are you ready to heal yourself and then go on to heal others? If so, the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute can help you discover proven functional medicine protocols that blend the best of seven different healing disciplines from around the world. I personally share with you the exact handouts and protocols I use in my private practice that enable people to get well, lose the weight, and live longer, stronger. 
I want to pass this information on to the next generation of health coaches, and that is exactly why I created IHP. We are the future of the health coaching industry, and the skills and knowledge you will learn will make you an in-demand certified health coach anywhere in the world. Although we have many medical professionals taking the IHP certifications, no experience is necessary, and half our members have no previous health certifications. At the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute, our motto is a health coach in every home. Our goal is that you take this knowledge and then share it with family, friends, loved ones, your community, or any practice where you create a career you love and can be proud of. The global IHP community is filled with some of the most kind and caring people in the world, and we can't wait to welcome you into our world soon. For more information or to set up a discovery call with one of our IHP Health Coach graduates, simply head over to integrativehealthpractitioner.org.